we are at an interesting moment in time, aren't we? Some call it evolution, some go as far as to say it's a revolution. What's for sure is sustainability is on everyone's agenda at last. So the challenges we are facing are still huge. The inequality in the world, I think it's also a big pain point. Giving the people the opportunity to look behind the scene, to see where everything has been produced. There are people behind it and they are exactly. doing it every day and they make their living out of it. So it's very tough and a very hard job. We've realized together that we bear responsibility, but that doesn't mean that we're necessarily all taking it. Sustainability, for example, it's, it's, it's a question of change and change takes time. Today, we, uh, our panel is called Same Goals, Different Systems how transparency triggers responsibility. I think it's wonderful that they have the green button. I think this is a tremendous platform to build upon. You are trying to discourage consumers from buying uh, fibers and fabrics that are unsustainable, and you're trying to move them towards those that are more sustainable. 70 percent um, uh, care about ethical criteria within uh, the shopping, their shopping considerations. I think that's that's good news. What we tried with the green button is to make something um, that actually makes it clear for the end consumer. What makes Frankfurt a fashion city? In Frankfurt, um, you have a different vibe. Uh, Frankfurt is really diverse. Um, so I think uh, what makes Frankfurt fashionable is, is the different and various influences you, you have uh, in the city. All right, then, we're ready for our first presentation, Circular Fashion Together. And what we'll discuss here is, are we ready to closing the loop on an industrial scale? And how can we bring it back into the, into the loop? The industry, uh, of course, uh, ISCO itself, we are investing a lot also in pre-consumer recycling. And this is very important. Welcome back. We're here for our third panel now. It's finance and how it triggers sustainability and fashion. Money can be a powerful tool and it can be a change agent for the fashion industry as well. But what we're seeing now is that impact investing is becoming very, very widespread. I think um, also the sustainable development goals of the United Nations in 2015 were an important milestone. Uh, there's a huge pressure on transforming the whole industry, including the fashion industry, into a sustainable industry. In the end, it is a global process and a global approach. And now we'll tackle the topic of diversity. It's not really enough to just throw in one person of color to really reach diversity. Eight years ago, I decided that fashion couldn't go on this way and that it needs to be more inclusive. Because uh, we realized that there are a lot of women from Afghanistan or Syrian um, who have the skills, like the techniques for um, dressmaker or tailoring. Diversity um, basically tells the story of my life. We save the world all together. That would be the key to true transformation, is bring them on board. So my challenge, actually, because now we're doing virtual events, is why not expand the scope of our dialogue? Mm.